Evening. Good work. That's really you. Before you say anything, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I spotted this ship and I had to drop in for a closer look. And now I'm going to take off. So let's pretend this never happened, hey? Hold it right there, Icarus. I'm not about to let you just fly out on me again without a chat, at least. To start with, what are you doing in the middle of this blasted war? The same thing I've been doing. Slowing these bastards down. If everyone like me pitched in a little bit, this war would have been well over by now. That may be so, but this is a matter between gods and titans. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. A bit late for that, really. Anyway, I've kept you for too long, but let me give you something I've been working on before I go. And these will work, I swear. You can fly wherever you want now, but I'm glad you didn't go so far I couldn't catch up. Here, in light of your godlike wings, a little gift. Oh, come on, just because I've been flying around near Olympus doesn't mean I get to feast like I'm from there. But maybe with your permission, hey? Know what? I've got something for you too. Is this one of your inventions? Amazing. Thank you. The other night, I saw these huge black wings on the horizon. Definitely not a harpy. Could have sworn it was bloody Ares. But wasn't she still at the crossroads with you? Well, I'm not at the crossroads either, but unfortunately, Strife Incarnate has been getting in my way. So she showed up around the time I did. Come to think of it, yes. Oh. I was beginning to worry she was here because of something I did. Never occurred to me she was just following you around, same as ever. That last nick you got me was so good. Can't even imagine what it would have been like while I was still alive. I wasn't going to ask for another, but since you're offering... I'm offering, so here. Maybe it's even better now that you're a shade. You mortals had to eat and drink out of necessity, but nectar helps fulfill a different kind of need. Your arm. Never got better, did it? I'm really sorry. I should never have put you on the spot. Not your fault. I had grown very confident in my abilities. Headmistress always said there was no way to make Shades whole again, but I thought otherwise. Overextended. Learned a lesson I'm not going to forget. I felt so bad. Couldn't look at anybody in the crossroads anymore. Thought I'd never see you again. That it'd be for the best. I had a lot I needed to sort out. And how did it go? You learned to fly, at least. Top of your list of fears, conquered. With your father's wings, no less. His wings are mine, Nelly. And that was all part of it. I had to learn to do things for myself, like you did. And for what it's worth, I still think your arm looks amazing. Now, here. As a mortal kid confined to a tower, I was relatively well provided for, but this... I know better than to envy the gods, especially with what they're going through lately. They definitely know their drink. The gods have always lived well. But your own life was so short and difficult. You must still have a lot of making up to do, and I thought maybe this could help. Something happened since the last time you were here. These ships, one after another, they all sank. Never seen these waters so calm. Did you? Did I reach Kronos in my father's house and slay him? Yes. And did he then reconstitute himself, perhaps entirely negating whatever I achieved? Also, yes. I always knew you'd get him, Nelly. Well, as you can see, his risen fleet has risen once again. Though, sounds to me like you found one of its weaknesses. Nice night. Nicely done. The wretches on these ships don't have their wits, but they hit hard. I, I know you're good and everything. Better than good. It's just... If things go bad, what happens to you then? The first thing Headmistress taught me was how not to give in. If my strength is failing me, I use it to return to Shadow once I came. Almost a reflex at this point. And then at the crossroads, you're up and about by the following night, raring to go. Too bad you can't return to Shadow back to where you left off. Been flying for a while now. At first, it brought me back to the terror I felt as a kid. Those final moments. I wanted to put myself through them again and again. Don't know why. Icarus, you were young and you made a mistake. What's the use torturing yourself for it for all eternity? I thought you wanted to learn to fly to prove yourself to your father. Come on, Nelly. I'm never going to prove myself to him. But something happened as I kept trying to use my wings. I, I started to like him. 
seeing from a different point of view. You look so in your element up there. I always believed if I could make you whole again, perhaps some night we'd learn to fly together. I still want to feel what it's like. You've no idea how much I wanted that too. But it was something I had to do on my own. I'd love to take you up with me now, but yeah, shades and goddesses don't mix. Hope it helps. There. Be safe. See you. You know, you've changed. You seem more full of life. I catch these glimpses of your face while you're in flight, and it's like there's a joy in you I never saw before. <laughs> well, there's the flying, which admittedly doesn't get old. And then there's seeing you, taking on the legions of Kronos single-handedly, using all your training. Wow. I didn't take them on single-handedly, Icarus, but it's good to know about the flying. It must be exhilarating. It is, Melly. You could always see right through me, so no point trying to sell it short. I hope some night you'll get a shot at it and tell me what you think. Here you go. For you. Special delivery. Nice seeing you. Careful out there. Wait, what are you even doing here? I thought you were supposed to be bound to the underworld, but here you are, commandeering warships and whatnot. I am still bound there. I just loosened the bindings a bit. Though I feel absolutely wretched now, so if the legions of Kronos don't stop me soon, my blood curse surely will. Really? Because you look great. Uh, you look... you look well. I mean, uh, unafflicted by a curse of any sort. Maybe a little seasick is all. Just take one of these, hey. again yes if you love flying so much why do you keep helping me once my father's throne is restored the gates of the underworld will shut and you'll be forced to return I know I would miss flying sure but I think I could live without it if I had to exist without it you, you know what I mean my plan is to just make the most of it for now and we mortals are taught to believe nothing lasts forever anyway you said yourself you're not supposed to be here Icarus Kronos may have flung open the underworld gates, but your place is still below with us. Come back. I always messed everything up, you know. I, I just want to be useful to someone for once. So please, let me stay here. Let me have this. How's everybody back at the crossroads lately, eh? Master Odysseus putting all his plans to action at long last. Oh yes, my route through here is thanks only to him. Say, he didn't push you up to this, did he? Deploying shades with makeshift wings and explosives seems like something the great tactician would do. I'm acting on my own. Although maybe we're all a part of the great tactician's plan and just don't realize it yet. He always says we'll have to improvise. Might be I finally took it to heart. Nicely done. How fares your father, by the way? You have no idea how happy I am to find Daedalus Hammers out there. I never see him around, so can never thank him in person. I'll be sure to send him your regards when next I happen to run into him. Though it's been a little while. I'm glad his hammers have been of some use. Have another? Always good to see you, Melly, even for a bit. Nobody else will test this stuff for me. You asked about my father the other night. And truth is, though you probably already know, I never see him around either. I think he might have retired. Daedalus retired? I just found one of his hammers earlier. He's been of constant help to me since all this started. He... Wait... What? Melly, I'm his apprentice. He'd been building for a long time and needed a break. I'm nowhere near him, but it's not like there was anybody else. Her hammers come in handy, though. Stop, you're hurting my head. The Daedalus hammers I've been finding are from you? Shouldn't they be Icarus hammers, then? Yeah, we have a certain reputation to uphold. Not sure slapping my name on my father's designs would do us any good. Please, don't go telling anyone about this, hey? You go. Till next time. Bye. You made your own wings, munitions, apparently the latest Daedalus hammers. You've become quite the craftsman. Come on, Nelly. My father was a master by the time he was my age, even before I died. I'll never surpass him. 
That's not what I've said. Your work is your own, and it's good. Better than good. When are you finally going to step out from your father's shadow? Funny question coming from you. My father may not be a god, but he's probably the greatest artist and inventor that ever lived. He'd be the first to say I'll never reach his level. Anyway, I'm through trying to prove myself to him. I think I took care of one or two of them back there. Better than nothing, hey? Well, Whichever one of these you choose comes with a total satisfaction guarantee. Maybe you'll find some use in one of these. They're all I've got tonight.